Hey everybody, this is Anthony with you, the Italian Bible Believing Jew, and this next video is going to be not exposing somebody and calling them a false teacher, stuff like that, like I normally do, because rightly so, that would accurately apply to when I do that to people. But in this case, I want to show you another example of somebody who makes wild accusations against people, true Bible believing Christians like, like myself, but provides no evidence. In fact, I even gave him the opportunity to give the evidence and he provided none. Instead, he just throws wild accusations, wild assertions with no proof whatsoever. I'll show you in this video, like I said, it's not to slander the person or to call him a heretic or a false teacher like many people are who do such things, but I personally believe until he's, until it's proven otherwise about him, that he's may be sincere but he is sincerely wrong and factually incorrect. I gave him opportunity after opportunity to provide the evidence. Like I said, he provided nothing. So that tells me he was just talking hot air, just making stuff up, or maybe he thinks he knows but he really does not know. So here's another example of a professing believer who is conducting himself, at least on this post that I posted, as a Pharisee, throwing wild false accusations with no proof whatsoever. Brethren, don't act like this. Follow Matthew 18. If you have something against somebody, provide the evidence and bring it to them so you and them can discuss it alone, as Matthew 18 teaches. Don't be a backstabbing coward, as many people are, and I'm not saying this individual was being that, that exact thing. But don't be a spineless coward. If you have something against somebody like myself or somebody else, let's just speak for myself personally, for example. If you have something against me from one of my videos, one of my posts on Facebook, bring the evidence and your accusation to me with sincerity and civility, and then we can have a discussion. But don't be a stupid, you know, falsely accusing Pharisee. Just be a troll on the internet and just run your mouth and post wild accusations with no proof because then you're just exposing yourself as an idiot. So here's the example of how not to conduct yourself. So brethren, on May 20th at 9.43 p.m., as you can see in the screenshot here, I made a video that I posted called Ephesians 2 verses 6 to 7 does not teach OSAS. I made this video probably not too um, long ago when I posted it on Facebook. And I usually post my Facebook videos, or my YouTube videos rather, <laughs> on Facebook so people can see it. You know, to promote my videos because they speak Bible truth. And would you know it, on May 21st, it shows here in the notifications section, Zach Wilson commented on the link you shared. And I do welcome comments, not immature lectures or uh, self-righteous condemnations like a self-righteous hypocritical Pharisee saying, you're a heretic, Anthony, you're a heathen, you're not saved, you're going to hell, blah, blah, blah. And I've had that stated to me on Facebook as well as comments on my YouTube channel many times, which I delete all those because they're just ramblings of an immature little toddler that doesn't have the civility or character to have an adult civil conversation. So he commented, and I, like I said, I welcome all comments and I will look through them. If they're mature and civil, then I will respond to them. If not, I will just delete them. That's how I work. Because I don't want to waste my time with immature little brats. <laughs> so, he commented on this video, or the link I shared regarding this video. And this is the first comment that he said. He said this, doesn't teach salvation through works either. Then he quotes Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 10. Okay, irrelevant to my video, but he quotes this and probably does not believe in work salvation at all. Now, I responded to this. 
Now this is about one week ago, as you see on the timeline here at the bottom of the screenshot. But I responded with this. The fruit of the Spirit will grow if a person is keeping the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus, but he has to let the fruit grow. It takes time. That's why I stated that. Then I asked him, let me ask you, are you keeping the Sabbath, dietary laws, and other laws God said was basically an abomination to break? Do you think Zach Wilson answered this? Not a peep from him. Not an answer. You see, he's another one of these kind of people that he wants to make an accusation. He wants to possibly, even though he did not do it in his first comment, or even his second, and now get into the second comment he left in just a moment, but... These kind of people, like Zach Wilson, want to ask you direct questions, and they want direct answers. But then when you ask them a direct question and want a direct answer, they don't give you the same favor or the same respect. Instead, they want to turn the tables like a Pharisee, like many of them do, and they want to turn the tables and falsely accuse you. Do you think he answered these questions once again? Not at all. He did not answer them at all. Instead, he leaves a different comment stating this. If it is a works for salvation, are you saved? What fruit have you produced? Condemning believers? Focusing on tearing down the body of Christ? Proving your agenda? In your work, do you believe that it is glorifying to God? Can someone have a conversation with you and, and see the fruit? Probably meant to put a question mark at the end of the statement. Also, he said the word and twice. <laughs> And then he quotes uh, Galatians 5, 22-24 and 26, but he quotes it here. Hmm. He asks all these questions, but he does not answer mine. You see, that's a very crafty, common tactic that people do. Could it be that Zach Wilson is acting like a self-righteous Pharisee? Possibly. And I say possibly, that's all I'm going to say about that. But it's evident that he does the same tactics, whether he knows it or not. Then he asks questions in the form of accusations. That's another crafty tool tactic that self-righteous Pharisees do. They want to ask you questions, but in an accusation format. What fruit have you produced? Condemning believers? Tearing down the body of Christ? Proving your agenda? In your work, do you believe it is glorifying to God? He asks five questions in accusation form, implying that he does believe I am condemning believers, focusing on tearing down the body of Christ and trying to prove my own agenda, and that my work is not glorifying to God by him questioning it. Now here is my response to these things. I said the context is about your past, not future, so we are only saved from our past by grace through faith implying that our future we are saved by grace through faith and works, cross-reference with James 2. You can't just take one passage and apply it to salvation itself. You have to look at the context, which is what I explain many times in my videos. Lastly, I stated, Show me the evidence that I am tearing down the body of Christ and condemning believers. Show me the evidence and I will believe you. Don't make wild accusations without the evidence. Am I slandering him? My name calling him, calling him a false teaching heretic, you self righteous Pharisee, you stupid doo doo head, and stuff like that, immature things that people call people like myself in false accusations. No, I don't ever do that. I'm giving him an opportunity, I'm encouraging him to do the right thing and prove his case. Do you think he answered it? Not a peep. Not one bit of answer did he ever show for it. So then, brethren, I went a step further and decided to Facebook message him, you know, following Matthew 18, even though he did not offend me or trespass against me. I still want to follow the same principle and take us to him on a more private conversation so we can handle the discussion more efficiently. So as you see in the screenshot here, I did message him a Facebook messenger, and I messaged him this. Hello. I thought this would be the better way to have this discussion. So basically, to address your accusations toward me, please show me the evidence where I am tearing down the body of Christ and condemning believers, and we can discuss what you bring up. Or, if there's any other questions or accusations you have, please share them and we can discuss them. This was on May 21st at 1946, that's military time for 7.46 p.m. 
Then on May 22nd at 12.26 p.m., I gave him two more comments in, in response. In question form. Two questions, actually. So are you going to answer my offer of discussion? Will you show me the evidence of what you accuse me of? It shows that he seen, as it shows in the screenshot here, the comments, all four on May 25th at 18.02, 6.02 p.m. in regular time format. He saw these comments, but has never responded. It's five days later, not a peep from him. Do you know why? He cannot prove his accusations. So he's throwing false accusations, like acting like a self-righteous Pharisee. You see, these kind of people you want to avoid. I hope he's not a self-righteous Pharisee and just going to leave this blank and not respond to my offer of discussion, which is a biblical reaction. So is he going to respond? I doubt he ever will. I gave him five days. That's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Do you think he'll ever respond? I doubt it. But we will have to see. But until then, I hold him guilty as charge of false accusations. And these are vain accusations and statements that I will just blow off and not even worry about it. Because unless somebody has the evidence, why should you take their accusations seriously? So brethren, don't act like this. If you have something against somebody, follow Matthew 18. Follow that passage. That's why Jesus said it. Go to them alone and discuss your accusations and your evidence. If you don't have evidence, shut up. So, just as an encouragement and a rebuke, with civility of course, don't be stupid and be a self-righteous Pharisee and just throw out accusations because you're making yourself look stupid and a fool. Don't do that. Follow Matthew 18 and do the biblical thing with civility. Be sincere. Bring your accusations with a concern and evidence and be willing to discuss it, not just throw rocks like a Pharisee does. So brethren, with that being said, all of you take care, love the Lord Jesus Christ, fear God to keep his commandments, and read and believe the King James Bible. Thanks.